Hey guys, Amit here for Phone Radar and I am with Ranjit who guys. has a YouTube channel called as Geeky Ranjit and uh, we are going to talk about the things which we know about the Samsung Galaxy S8 S8. and there are two variants of it and there are two variants and Ranjit already has a prototype of the <laughs> S8 technically, I mean uh, <laughs> Not can... exactly, this is the C9 Pro but there is a lot of things that we would see uh, even on the S8 uh, but Smart. there are some things that Amit is disputing, we'll talk about it Yeah, I mean uh, Almost a lot of similarities as to what uh, we have already known about the S8. So first thing first, it's going to come in two different variants. I'm not sure why, but they're going to come with... They're the, increasing the size in 5.8 and 6.2. Remember the same screen we saw three years back with the Samsung's Galaxy Mega devices. Mega it was 6 point a, something, yeah. It's the same kind of display. But uh, this like, time, uh, because they are like narrowing down the bezels, so uh, physically it won't be uh, very big. Yeah. So they're going to fit in uh, with the existing uh, chassis what we have for the S7 Edge. That's what the rumors are. So meaning. they're probably going to be like... They're going, the to, remove the, mimics. They're going to remove the physical buttons. Yeah, that's you a know, bigger change actually. Because of that, they can just reduce the bezel size up and down. And they can have on the sides, space. On the sides, space. obviously, they didn't have anything because it's edge screen. Edge display. <laughs> but the primary reason of me, one of the biggest reason why I use the Galaxy S7 or even an iPhone is the physical home button. Because I'm a fan of the home button. There are many people who do that. Because it's a habitual thing. You don't want to always slide over the screen and then press on the home button. It's, it's, Here it's, it's a habit. Uh, if exactly. you get used to it, uh, I would say. I'm like comfortable with both. But yeah, Samsung trademark was that the center home button. You have the exactly. S7. And yeah. so that's going to go away. So, I mean, uh, according to the rumors which we have been seeing around this phone, it's nowhere close to what we have been seeing with the Galaxy S7. It's a new Lot design. It's a very radical design. Radical design Thin, change. bezel-less. It'll look really good uh, in terms of looks. But Amit, reducing the bezel so much, so less, what is the glass protection we'll have? Because trust me, Amit, let it be Gorilla Glass 4, 5 or 6, or chimpanzee glass or whatever they call it. <laughs> you drop it, you bake. Unless you have a shutter... Uh, or some uh, screen technology like Motorola that they had plastic OLED yep. but I don't think so Samsung will do that because you lose a little bit of clarity so I'm a little bit worried about that uh, because uh, I mean that's a big worry because we have you actually bought the Galaxy S7 and during the unboxing S7H, or, uh, S7H. Uh, S7H within one day I broke and I know one of my close friend also within a day uh, he okay. didn't he ordered a case it didn't come he started using it and accidentally it slipped out his hand and shattered the screen so it's just one drop one drop and, and even uh, haven't uh, it happened with my pixel it also was supposed to have gorilla glass well we broke the me mix he, he, he didn't did. even drop it from the desk it was he just did. on the desk and, and that was a bezel-less phone almost exactly. bezel-less so S8 is almost on the same lines it's not exactly bezel-less but it's almost so the I same hope lines. Samsung does something about the glass protection I, I'm like they might go with Gorilla Glass 5 as far as we That's know. That's the current uh, trend, latest one. Trend. But I mean, I would say that we don't need more innovation. We need more uh, satisfaction and more stronger display and uh, clarity that, okay, this won't break at least for a... Yeah, that top. way I like the Moto Z, uh, what do you say that? Rugged one. That didn't launch in India. <laughs> yeah. But again, uh, that was... Uh, yeah, but Samsung won't do it because you lose a little bit of display clarity because it's a plastic layer mm -hmm. over that. So that was that. And I'm disputing about this. Uh, uh, the S8 will have dual speaker setup, according to me. Okay, now that's a new thing for me at least because <laughs> I thought Samsung would go with the same S7's uh, single speaker thing. But since he has a prototype, he has more <laughs> weightage on that. Not a prototype. Thing. I'll tell you why. Because this is the Galaxy C9 Pro. And this also has a single speaker outlet over here. But the earpiece is also a, what do you say, speaker. So this is a stereo setup. And I think so, Samsung will do that even with the S8. Quite possible. Because iPhone now has stereo setup. Well, if Apple has that, then they might I feel it. that's going to happen. Yeah. Okay. So again... Uh, they are partners in crime. So <laughs> if Note 7 explodes, obviously iPhone also <laughs> is exploding. So yeah. Forget about it. Okay, let's talk about RAM. And again, here I'm going to contradict Amit. So RAM, what we have been hearing is that there would be two variants. So yeah. 5.8 inches would come with a 4GB RAM and the plus variant would be a plus and it would be a 6GB uh, RAM variant. I think so. Both will have 6 gigabytes of RAM. I don't know why. Because the C9 Pro again, I'm coming back to this. I know that. This is a cheaper uh, uh, version. The S8 Compared will be really. flagship. And when this can have 6 gigabytes of RAM and TouchWiz runs well on 6 gigabytes of RAM. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> I mean, TouchWiz runs good on the No, but RAM, RAM management. Yeah. Amount of okay. apps that are uh, there in RAM. Running. I didn't have any issues. This is the, one of the first Samsung phones that I've used after a long time. I didn't have any RAM management issues. Okay. So 6 gigabytes of RAM really helps. But let's see if so I'm true. I hope that rumors are wrong. wrong. 
We and hope that both uh, of them come with six gigabytes of RAM because the exactly. pricing is, from what we have heard, will be higher than and what we, we have seen with the Galaxy S7 and the S7. Year, almost hundred dollars more. And that, if you translate it in India, that's almost ten thousand rupees more. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, that's the conversion. Pricing. That's how conversion. Especially how Apple and uh, Pixel calculated the pricing <laughs> point. Like if there's hundred dollars <laughs> pricing difference, ten thousand rupees is difference. Yeah, yeah. Like iPhone 7, 60, 70, 80, 90. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Pixel uh, almost yes. 60, 70, 60 and yeah, 67. So yeah, Samsung is also going to raise the prices. So that's what we have heard. And again, it'll have the, what do you say, fingerprint scanner at the back. But that's a big negative, I would say. Like you know, I didn't actually like the fingerprint scanner on the S7 also because you would always have tap on it and use it. Unlike the, the quality of the fingerprint phone. scanner was not that great. great. I even said in my review, but the fingerprint scanner again, C9 Pro is amazing. And it's an active fingerprint scanner. Okay. On this S7, it's not even active. So you just place your finger. You exactly. don't have to tap. That's, that's what I want. You don't have to I tap. Mean, I like it on the but it's going 3T. Back. It's and going, it was not working. It's going back. That's for sure. And But we have the iris scanner. So that will be the smart Samsung's the, marketing pitch huge. when people will complain the fingerprint scanner is in the back. So they'll say, just look at the phone. That'll be the tagline. Trust me. <laughs> but trust me, how many people would actually use it and how good is the iris scanner? Actually? They have to improve it. We have seen it on, on the, the Note 7. It was there. It was working. But I hope Samsung has improved it. Okay. But there are some rumors that anyone could crack it also. They just put your passport photo on the front end. No, 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 no. It, it's it? actually is, uh, scanning the scanning eyes. The I tried fooling it on the uh, Note 7. It didn't work. It didn't fool? It didn't. Okay. It didn't so Samsung got fooled. I hope that they improved the speed more because the Note 7, sometimes it was really fast, but sometimes it used to take about 7-8 seconds. So, mixed. Sometimes we used to recognize instantly. So, I hope they improved but it. But I still wish they should have at least placed the fingerprint scanner somewhere in the bottom. At no. least because it's comfortable to use it on this area. It's close to the camera. So, what would happen is... By, uh, if I want to quickly capture a photo and I want to unlock my phone, sometimes I would tap on the camera sensor and have a lot of... Uh, you get used to it, it, muscle memory, man. It'll be a problem for the first week, then you get used to it, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, okay, uh, when and you're talking uh, about cameras, cameras, cameras. Yeah. A lot of rumors earlier that will be having a dual camera setup. No, it's just going to have a single camera setup. And they're saying that this would almost be the same camera which would was on In the terms S7. of megapixel, uh, yes, uh, we are hearing it's same, it's going to be 12 megapixel. But under the hood, they can improve stuff. The Obviously. sensors yeah. and because and Samsung is known to uh, provide great cameras and Apple has improved with the iPhone 7, the camera. Exactly. So definitely. It's only yeah. Apple which is competing with them in cameras. Others are just yeah. like good on paper. Pixel was also good. Pixel was also good. And largely because yeah. of the software uh, of stuff that they do. Yes. But in terms of camera, yes, we would Samsung. be seeing a lot of updates, So in, not in the sensor, but... Yeah, in the megapixel count, it might not increase, but Samsung will do something about the camera. Yes. But front-facing camera, I think so that will uh, bump up. Uh, that will be bumped up to at least about 8 megapixels. Right. Quite because nice. iPhone has bumped it up. <laughs> well, then there's one more thing which they're not following then from Apple. They're, they're and I'm glad. The... And I'm glad. And they're bringing the 3.5mm They're keeping it jack. back. They're the keeping three, it actually. The 3.5mm yeah. uh, headphone jack. And trust me guys, uh, it's nice to have the 3.5mm headphone jack. Uh, I mean, it's more practical. You can, Bluetooth yeah. earphones. you can have the AirPods and whatever oh, pods. You, you are not a music head. Uh, my uh, headphones are out. But I have some good headphones. Yeah, if you, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. see. <laughs> I have a lot of headphones. It's just one of them. You need a 3.5mm headphone jack, man, with Bluetooth stuff. I have the Bose, but... You could have the dongles. Like, Apple has, like, multiple levels of dongle. Like, 1, 2, 3, 4, connected them and... I hope, I hope 3.5mm headphone jack stays and we'll run a poll. Let's ask the audience, do they want the 3.5mm headphone jack on their smartphones or they don't want it like what Apple yeah. did with iPhone 7? Let us know in the poll. Uh, tap on the poll option and let us vote. Know. And also, let us know in the comment section. What do you think about the S8? Will you be buying it if it's $100? More. So, in more. India, at least, if it's $100, It'll be close to around 60,000 rupees. Yep. At and, launch, and that will be the 5.8 uh, and the generally it, and both these phones are edge variants yeah there is no f regular, regular flat uh, one like uh, this s7 that we have so, so technically so. pricing is anywhere on the higher side the edge s7 edge is higher it's right now it's selling in india for 49 49 so this one will be like 60 around 60 yeah and s8 plus would be like i don't even want to speculate <laughs> <laughs> so anyways guys uh, yeah so this was uh, the things which we know about the galaxy s8 smartphone which is coming uh, this month right no we, april april no in uh, barcelona it's going to be unveiled this month they're we not going to display everything uh, about it 
the thing is uh, their um, actual event will be in april april so hopefully in india we are hearing second week is what some of my contacts in uh, offline stores may? have told me may could be availability in may or may ha uh, availability would be may okay because they need time to get yeah. bring it everywhere but yeah so that's almost like 2 months from now let us know if you guys would be upgrading to this phone at this price point or also let us know about the 3.5 headset uh, headphone jack do you jack. want it or not yeah so that's it for now i am amit and uh, here's ranjit guys. from kiki ranjit youtube channel thank you bye 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 guys Thank you.